Greetings everybody. In this video we're going to talk about rectangular solids. A rectangular solid is a type of 3D shape where each face is a rectangle. Let's pull one up on the screen here. Here's an example of a rectangular solid. Now rectangular solids have six faces. We talked about faces in the previous video. It has a front face here, one then there's another face just like that on the back, and that would be the second face. Then there's a top face, I'll call it three, a bottom face just like that, four, and then two side faces, five and six. And each of those faces is perpendicular to the faces adjacent to it. So for instance, the top face here and the side face, there's a right angle there. The front face here and the side face, there's a right angle there, perpendicular. So six faces, faces perpendicular to adjacent faces, Another thing about the faces in rectangular solids is that, as I said, the ones opposite each other are identical, which means they have identical areas. So for example, these two side or end faces here would have identical areas. The top and the bottom faces, identical areas. Front and back faces, identical areas. So opposite faces same area. Now, rectangular solids have edges and vertices, like other 3D shapes. They are also, by the way, rectangular solids are also called cuboids. I'll just put that up here. And we'll move this down a bit here and talk about the edges and vertices. They have 12 edges. So 12 of these lines here, 1, 2, etc. 12 edges, and they have 8 vertices, and the vertices are these corner points. Those are 4 on that end and 4 on the other end, so 8 vertices. And as noted here with these little letters, rectangular solids will have a length. Usually that's considered the longest side a width, and a height. Now, if we wanted to visualize this cuboid or rectangular solid kind of laid out flat, opened up and laid out flat, we could represent it like this. So this doesn't exactly represent the, the size of all the faces here, but it gives you the idea that we could fold out this box, so to speak, and look at it in a flattened form where we're looking at four of the faces here and the two end faces here. And notice that the surface area of this folded out version is going to be the surface area of this box over here. And we'll talk about how to calculate that surface area in a little bit. Let's first talk about how to calculate the volume of a rectangular solid. The volume of a rectangular solid is a very simple equation. It's simply the length times the width times the height. All there is to it. So let's just think of a sample problem using that formula. Say you were told that the volume of a rectangular solid was 27 and that the length, width, and height were integers. Length, width, and height are integers. And you were asked, what's the maximum possible length? Maximum length. Well, we'll write again the formula here. The volume is length times width times height. We know the volume's 27. We know these are all integers, and we want to maximize the length. So that means we want to minimize these two dimensions and still make them integers. So what is the lowest possible integer we could make them? They could both be 1. Height of 1, width of 1. All right, now we know we need to multiply the 27, so that would have to be a 27 for this to work out. 
27 times 1 times 1 is 27. So the maximum length is 27. Okay, let's talk about surface area. The surface area of a rectangular solid is simply the sum of the areas of all its faces. So if we think about what those face, the area of those faces, the front face is going to be L times H because it's a rectangle that's L by H. But there's two of those faces, right? The front and the back. Uh, so I'll say two times that. Let me just move this down a little bit. And then the area of the side, or end faces, let's call them, would be H times W. Because again, those are just rectangles. And there's two of those, one over here. So 2 times HW. All right, and then finally we have the top and the bottom. And each of those has an area of length times width. So got to move this down again here. And we have plus the area of the top and the bottom. So 2 times length times width there. So we could say that is the surface area of a rectangular solid. And I could also factor out a 2 and write it as 2 times what's left inside the parentheses here. And that's probably a little bit easier, that form of the formula. So let's say we knew that the length of this rectangular solid was 4, the height was 3, and the width was 2, and we wanted to know the surface area, we could use this formula and just plug those numbers in. So length was 4, height was 3, height 3, width 2, length 4, width 2, and then we'll take that up here, and we would have 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, and then we have 12 and 6 is 18 plus 8 is 26, 2 times 26 is 52. Okay, finally let's talk about something called the diagonal of a rectangular solid. The diagonal is the longest line segment that can be drawn within a rectangular solid and it is the longest because it connects the two farthest points. So if I were to draw from that point to this opposite point, that would be a diagonal. And I could have gone from this far corner over to this near corner, also a diagonal. There is a formula for the diagonal and it's based on the Pythagorean theorem. We won't get into the where we get the formula from but it looks a lot like the Pythagorean theorem, and let's take a look at that formula. The diagonal squared is equal to the sum of the squares of, the, of each dimension of the rectangular solid. So if we use those same dimensions we had before, where we had a 4, a 3, and a 2, what would the measure of the diagonal be? Well, the diagonal squared is going to be length squared, so 4 squared plus... 3 squared on the height, 2 squared on the width, and we're looking at 16 plus 9 plus 4. So we have the diagonal squared is equal to 29. Now we have to square root both sides, and so we have the square root of 29. So some features or characteristics of rectangular solids and three formulas to know. The volume the surface area, and the diagonal. See you in the next video.